side. The end of this video is just going to be me and a pile of matches. Ooh. Okay. For this video, I have 20 sparklets because I am turning 20. And I decided I'd be ready to celebrate that. Just to use the 20 sparklets that I was given by a friend to celebrate my 20 years of life. Which might shortly end in death because these are quite close to my face to be in the front of the shot. Also, shout out to my poor friend who was like, Yeah, Kiara, yeah, I have 20 sparklets. Did you want them? I was like, up, oh, yes, but I don't think he knew it was being used for this purpose, so just, I appreciate your 20 sparklers that are helping me talk about my fears. Yes, we're going to discuss why I dislike birthdays. Birthdays have always been a kind of thing for me, where it's been hard to like them because it's years passing, and in years of passing, it reminds me that I'm getting older, which... I have a bit of Peter Pan syndrome in the fact that I never thought I'd live to see past 18. I'm going to get a lot more sparkler. If I were to live past that time, what would I do with my life? I still have no idea what I'm doing with my life because I didn't plan any life after. I am literally just going blind. I got to 18 and I was already panicking. And I get to 20 and I passed my teen years. And I've succeeded at nothing, and I have made this huge definition of success for myself that I will never be out of reach. And it's really hard knowing that I will probably never reach it, and I will probably never reach this definition of success I've made for myself because it is so high. But at the same time, I almost don't want to reach it because if I reach it, that means the end of all my goals. Or oh, I've left it too late. Oh, I think that that is my problem is that I am fearing life. I'm not fear, scared of death. Living is terrifying because having to live means that you have to have a future. Having a future for me is always a terrifying aspect of life because it's an unknown and it means that I have to figure out what I want to do and how I'm going to do it. And that's not something I've ever been particularly good at, to be honest. Okay, okay. Whew. in Australia, we have this thing called personal learning plan. And what we do for that is we discuss what we're going to do for the future. And we do fake interviews and whatnot. To do. My ideal job was to be a writer. But not just any writer, a freelance writer, obviously, because then you get to choose your own working hours. And so I went into this interview. I scored top marks. And then right at the end, they wrote a comment for me, which... It was lovely and presumptive of them, but I didn't mind at the time, and it said I needed to be more realistic about my life choices. And I was like, Pfft. no I don't, because obviously I'm going to become a freelance writer. Nothing can stop me. At that time, I knew the world was my oyster. I've gone to a point where, in my teenage brain, I should have succeeded at my dreams. I should have made them a thing, and I should have been able to have accomplished them and I watch people who have done that and I get easily envious easily envious of them because that's what I want to be. there was a bug ah this one in my spark I'm so sorry mate don't do it you'll burn yourself and life is good pretty sure I'm sitting on a spark it was just my butt alright well, we are almost done 10 sparklers I've only got 10 more sparklers to talk about this stuff so sit tight relax enjoy the ride. I think there's beauty in being on the last time and there's beauty in trying really hard and living a life worth living. And now that I'm 20, I've come to the realisation that I probably have a lot of my life left. And that life is something I can do anything with. That life is this inevitable thing that I can't stop and I can't control it. And that's what freaks me out about it because I happen to like being in control. I happen to like being in control. Unless you're Peter Pan, who still lives in Neverland and will literally never grow old, you will start getting older. And as much as I'd love to be Peter Pan, which, don't get me wrong, I would love to be Peter Pan or Tinkerbell, 
and I would take a trip to Neverland in a heartbeat. Life is a big adventure, like is quoted in Peter Pan and you've just got to live it, you've got to live it and you got to give it your best shot and I think I'm going to try and give it my best shot this year. Life is hard and I have no idea where I was going. So it was my idea to kind of get dressed up, dressed up in party attire because I'm not having a party for my birthday um, and have a go at being really positive about this because I'm really not usually and I tend to get in a bit of a depressive state and that's really not healthy for my life or for anyone around me because really you should be considering Ooh. considering going out as a positive given the past two years since when I was 18 and I thought I was going to die I have had so many experiences changed my uni degree once and I'm a lot happier for it and I have had things close, you know what, we're not going to get too much into it, too deep, I think that's for another time, but I've come to realise more who I am as a person and more who I want to be as a person, and I want to see, I want to explore more of that this year, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to live completely and fully and not regret it. and I think if I were to wallow in this sense that I am now, I wouldn't be able to be completely and utterly myself. And that is kind of what I wanted to cover in this video, because that is my last of the 20 sparkles. So I should probably wrap this up and say that this is my 20th year, and it's right on. I'll show you in a minute, but it's right on my 20th year. And I want to make this year the year that I spark, <laughs> spark a new joy for life. And I'm completely and utterly myself, and I don't spark myself out as quickly as these 20 sparklers did. And I'll see you well into my 20s. And just to prove that it is definitely past midnight on my birthday night, it is 109. Woo! Ah, I'm a ghost.